Uh, first off, sorry about the glare. It's just one of them days and my poor camera. Well, that's it constructed. Here's a bit of work getting this uh, end piece in. Um, if you watched the video beforehand, the centre piece I did cut in half and had to pull in. But weirdly, I had to remove the extra pieces I had to put in to pull it back together for what I cut out with the saw. If that makes any sense, but because of the way it wedged in quite tightly, um, I had to not have those bits. Not that it really matters, but it's all well. Three quarters stuck in. This end plate, like I said, I've just wedged in. Um, seems pretty firm. And there's mud housing. Everything seems to be going quite well. Um, as for the reducing of the cogging that I wanted to do, it's a little bit worse actually. I tried to offset each rotor from one another, but well, by doing so, it should have reduced the cogging because each one would have been pulling against the other, cancelling each other out. But instead, it's it got a bit worse actually, and uh, it favours, weirdly enough as well, only being turned in one direction. With the turning that actually, oh crap! Sounds like something scraping on the inside, which is not good. I'm just turning it that way. But yeah, it does seem pretty, pretty steady. Um, kind of, well, it's reasonably happy to sit like this, and uh, I think that's why I'll be running it. Um, one thing I was doing when I was messing about, if I could find something, uh, I'm just going to pop down the camera onto something, and hopefully I'll have it on camera because I don't really do it. I'm going to have to go with this. I'm going to try and put it this way around. I've got no idea if you can actually even see me or what I look like on camera, but I see that in a minute. It's a fairly big, but that should have a problem. One thing, what's messing with it, I find it's quite evenly weight distributed. I mean, it's a fair weight. I'm struggling to hold this. Well, uh, I can spin it quite freely. With very little wobble. Again, I got no idea if this is on camera or not. But just to show that it's quite the steady. And yeah, weighs a bit as well. It doesn't help that it's really hard for today. Uh, yeah, that's what I got to so far. Um, next is wiring these terminals up. This would be one side with its own bridge rectifier. That would be the other side with its own bridge rectifier and then parallel together on the outputs. I've just got to do all that and fault find if I've got any. I did solder the terminals. Some of them come out really crap to be honest. Most others were pretty straightforward and went, went fine. So I did continuity checks and uh, ohm checks. Each one of these is one ohm. I believe it's not one ohm. It's set on a 200 setting and it's got 0 0.10. No, 0 0.1.0. So I think that's 10 ohm actually. Each one of these. One ohm or 10 ohm or either way. It's actually less than that because the leads are 0 0.4 of an ohm. So the actual resistance of these is 10, 9, 6.6 ohms. Yeah, I built this and my maths is poor. Uh, yes, that's what I got to so far. Um, I'll carry on. Okay then, guys. See you later.